guys, it's Foil Freak here. So as per February coming to an end, it is time for me to reveal all of the things that I have been doing in my bullet journal this month. So we're just gonna get straight into the video. No rambling from me this time around. This is gonna be a bit of a shorter video than usual. I have a lot of things to do this week and so I still want to get out the uh, January review and the Mar plan with me for March tomorrow so um, we're just gonna get through this really quickly and then you guys will get your uh, March plan with me tomorrow and um, really quickly I apologize for the inactivity as of recent February has just been the craziest month of my entire life and I've just had so many things going on that I've kind of had to go away from YouTube for a little bit but I am hoping that with spring break and my trip to Europe coming up I'll be able to uh, get up some new videos and start posting a couple of blogs because I am going away to Europe over uh, spring break so I'll be able to get some cool footage for you guys anyways I am rambling as I usually do but let's just get into this really quickly so here I have my February monthly spread, you know, just I filled it out with all of the things that I have to get done. And as you can see, today is that I'm shooting this video on the 27th and tomorrow is my birthday. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. And here I have my first weekly spread from the January 29th to February 4th. I filled it out with all of the stuff that I had going on. Same thing with the 5th through the 11th. Same for the 12th through the 18th. And uh, I've had a bit of an issue with planning uh, the past couple of days. I've just been so busy working on different kinds of projects and stuff that I haven't had too much time for in-depth planning like I have in previous weeks. So, um, you know, the, 9th, the 19th through the 25th is a little bit bare, as you can see. Now we move into some dailies. We've got lots of tasks and homework. Some more daily spreads. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday, my brother's birthday. You know, that cool kind of stuff. I had an art field trip this week. I was working. I was pretty diligent with planning for the most part, like the first three weeks of the month. And then like last week hit and I'm just like, it was just, it was bad. Like, I'm pretty sure I haven't even touched my bullet journal since Wednesday. So uh, that's a bit of an issue, but yeah, these are the dailies, just doing what I gotta do. I have my habit tracker here. I've finished it to the best of my ability. Um, keep in mind, not all of these things were meant to be completed on a daily basis, and some of them were just me tracking uh, how often I do something. So, for example, I still need to fill out the past couple of days, but I walk 10,000 steps plus every single day and I was just curious about that. Whereas uh, for school, I'm just kind of tracking how often I, you know, spend studying for tests and other things like that. So you can see how certain classes take up more time than others. And in, like, in terms of marking off days where I do um, certain subjects, I can kind of fall through with that because I can sometimes forget to like mark it down and then when I'm going through my bullet journal later trying to fill things in, I can sometimes forget that I had done something. So I need to come up with a better system or just a better time management so that I can bullet journal on a more daily basis and like get some actual data regarding how much, you know, how many of my subjects am I doing on a daily basis. But you know, uh, work in progress. And here I have a uh, Making Memories page. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot going on this month. And if you can't tell, which I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't, this is a horse because the other day I went to the uh, horse tracks. A family friend of ours invited us. And so we went, we had some fun, we made some bets. I made some money and it was pretty cool. So this is just a page that I use to kind of just mark down some significant things in my, uh, in my bullet journal. I'll probably do less of a grid system next month, make it more spread out and fancy looking, but I'm happy with um, the overall idea of it and I think I'll do it again in March too. Now here's my gratitude log, which I have filled out every single day. I'm super proud of myself. I filled out every day except tomorrow, so I'll finish that off. Moving through this super quick, I know, it's great. 
And now I have my self-care tracker, which I finished it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so incredibly happy that I've actually finished this because there were days where I was just like, why am I doing this again? Like, what is this? And so I think it looks pretty awesome. It gives me a really good indication of kind of how things correlate and how, you know, different aspects of my life can influence other aspects and stuff. So I'm really, really happy with that. And I think it looks really cool and I think I'll definitely do this again next month too. And here is my mood mandala, which is um, an idea I got from Boho Berry. And uh, all of the colors of the days up until today have been filled out. I just need to go through and actually finish the mandala. Uh, like I said, February has been a bit of a crazy month. So some of the more creative aspects of my bullet journal have kind of fallen a bit to the wayside, as you'll see in a couple of minutes. And then here is just my social media tracker, uh, my YouTube video ideas, you know, all that good stuff. My post planner, which I haven't been following through very much lately. I just, I'm working on it guys, I promise. <laughs> and then here is my daily doodles page. This worked out pretty well for me. There were days where I just didn't doodle and so like literally there would be, I would go for like a week and a half without doodling and then I would just do a whole bunch of doodles on one day. So I'm thinking I'll still keep this up next month, but then try and just come up with, I think what I'm gonna have to do overall is just come up with a set period of time where I just go home and I just be creative and just do something in my bullet journal, be it work on my mandala or do some doodles or like the plan with me challenge or something like that, because I need to start being more smart about my time management in terms of how I keep up the collections I want to do in my bullet journal. So I'll probably fill out this page within the next couple of days, um, or maybe I won't, who knows, because I am moving into a new bullet journal this month, so that's exciting. And then I have my quote a day page. This was actually pretty useful because it helped, it like, it gave me the incentive to like motivate myself. So like there are lots of things, if I was feeling like down or just unmotivated, I would go and I would look for a quote and write it down. And I'd feel like kind of compelled to like, you know, work hard and be productive for the rest of the day. So, you know, that was cool. I think I'll keep, I think, I don't know. Well, I don't know if I'll keep it up next month. It was kind of a hassle having to go through and look for like, different quotes, especially when like I forgot to do it for a couple of days, but we'll see. I might do it once at the very beginning of my bullet journal, just for the sake of it, me moving into a new bullet journal for March. So uh, we will see. And then here's my goals and motivations page, which I never filled out. In fact, I'm not going to show you any more of my bullet journal because not only are these two pages blank, but I am so horrendously behind in both the plan with me challenge and the rock your handwriting challenge that honestly I'd feel ashamed showing them to you. So what I'm gonna do is, um, that's basically all I have for the month of February. Um, the only thing you're not gonna be able to see is the copious amounts of blank pages where things for the rock your handwriting and plan with me challenge should be. So you're not really missing out on all that much. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, another video uh, where I go through and I talk about the different things that I did for both the Rock Your Handwriting and Plan With Me Challenge for February. So that's gonna be a video that's coming uh, within the next week or so, so you can look forward to that. Anyways, that's all I've really got for this video. Just a quick little uh, February review. Nothing too incredibly special, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you all subscribed. It is just so awesome that I've got so many people watching my videos. And like I said, if you, in case you forgot, the plan with me for March will be out sometime tomorrow. So uh, if you're watching this video uh, today, you can come back tomorrow and wish me a happy birthday because I will be turning 18 years old. Woo! Uh, and if you're watching this video later, then uh, I will leave a link down in the description for you to go and watch it. 
And then uh, the videos regarding the, my talk through of the Rock Your Handwriting and Plan With Me Challenge for February will probably come out, um, oh boy, when are they gonna come out? That's a good question. I'll let you know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. For what? Ha! Ah, talking. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any video ideas that you'd like to see. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye.